Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're taking a closer look at the largest frog ever found. Nicknamed the Devil Frog, this is the Beelzebufo. Frogs are the most common type of amphibian alive today, with an estimated 5,500 separate species, making them the most diverse and successful of all amphibians. They are known from all the continents except Antarctica, but their fossil record is quite poor. The first fossil fragments of the Beelzebufo were found in 1993 by David Krauss of New York's Stony Brook University. But it took 14 years for scientists Susan Evans, Mark Jones and Krauss to assemble enough data for publication. Beelzebufo lived in what is now Madagascar during the late Cretaceous period around 65 to 70 million years ago. It was the size of a squashed beach ball at around 40 centimetres long, that's about 16 inches, and would have weighed about 4.5 kilos, that's almost 10 pounds. Although even in the biggest fossils, the skull sutures are open, meaning that they were not fully grown. To put this into perspective, the largest frog alive today is the Goliath frog, found in a relatively small habitat range in Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea. Specimens can grow up to 32 centimetres, that's 12.6 inches in length, and weigh up to 3.25 kilos, that's 7.17 pounds. The shape of the bones of the Beelzebufo indicate that it was a relative of modern horned toads found in South America. Many members of this family have soft extensions of skin growing out from their upper eyelids, which resemble little horns. Bones of the skull roof of the Beelzebufo show a rough external surface, indicating that at least parts of the head may have borne bony scales, called scutes. If it behaved like modern horned toads, it would have been an ambush predator. Horned toads are voracious and unfussy hunters, lying half submerged in mud, waiting for any unsuspecting small animal to wander by. Basically, anything that can fit into their mouths is on the menu. Mice, other frogs, snakes, fish and such like. Due to its size, it's conceivable that the Beelzebufo could have eaten juvenile dinosaurs. Its relationship to South American frogs and the fact that its fossils indicate that it is not related to any living Madagascan frogs raises quite a puzzle. Standard theory for how the continents drifted apart show what is now Madagascar would have been long separated by ocean from the Americas during Beelzebufo's time. Frogs with their soft, permeable skins cannot survive long in salt water, so reaching Madagascar by swimming can be ruled out. Krauss contends that the giant frog provides evidence for competing theories that some bridge still connected the land masses that late in time perhaps via Antarctica that was much warmer than today. Perhaps Gondwanaland stayed together for longer than scientists currently think. Could India and Madagascar have been linked to South America by an Antarctica land bridge as recently as the late Cretaceous? Some scientists aren't yet convinced that the Beelzebufo is related to the South American frogs. They say that the molecular clock data suggests that these frogs split from a common ancestor more recently than 66 million years ago. Based on molecular evidence of frog relationships, the specific resemblance to some living wide-mouthed frogs is more likely from evolutionary convergence than an actual relationship. Convergent evolution, where unrelated species occupying similar niches tend to look the same, is common in frogs. Even if they are related, this doesn't mean that the frogs necessarily had to walk on land from one location to another before Gondwana split. Any organism, including a frog, can raft on dead vegetation. Flood events and tropical storms can wash relatively large pieces of vegetation out to sea. Some of these rafts get washed up on foreign shores. A number of animals migrate between islands today under these circumstances. Whatever the reason is, it has raised some very interesting scientific debates. Well that's all for today, thank you so much for watching and as always I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. Please make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this one and check the description down below for all the links to my Twitter, Discord and Patreon. And I hope to see you next time here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.